Well, good morning, YouTube land. Welcome to my inspirational content this morning. We are working on our 192nd day to this Bible journey in Joshua 15. Please open your Bibles, follow along with me. Let's get ready to get into this. I am having ice water this morning. Please let me know in the comments what you all are having as well. And for the new viewers, uh, we are reading the first 10 verses together. And I ask you all to go back and finish reading the remaining of this chapter on your own. And let's get ready and get into this. And we are almost done with the book of Joshua. Hang in there. No matter what we're going through, God wants us to stay committed to him. And um, we just getting closer and closer to Christmas. And I'm looking forward to it. No matter what things may look like, Jesus is the reason for the season. That's why we got to stick with it because it's not about how we feel it's not about if this go well or that goes well we have to remember that jesus is the reason for the season no matter what is going on in our immediate lives amen um joshua 15 this then was the lot of the tribe of the children of judah by their families even to the border of edom the wilderness of Zen, southward was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the salt sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side to Malacrabum, and passed along to Zen, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hazron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karkaya. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt, and the goings of the coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. And the east border was the salt sea, even unto the end of Jordan, and their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Bethagla, and passed along by the north of Bethabar, and the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben, and the border went up toward Deber, from the valley of Anchor, and so northward looking toward Gilgal, that is before the going up to Adamem, which is on the south side of the river, and the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out there thereof were at Enrogo. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom unto the south side of the Jebusite. The, the same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Neptuna, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephraim, and the border was drawn to Bela, which is Kirk-Jab-Jerim, and the border compassed from Bela westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerim, which is Chasalon, on the north side, and went down to Bethshemash, and pass on to Temana. May God add a blessing to the reader of his word this morning. Lord have mercy. And um, before I go into our, um, our summary. Okay, I just need to find this particular scripture. Because I'm going to have to go back a little bit. Okay. God divided each tribe of Israel their own land and inheritance. The first 10 verses talk about specifically the tribe of Judah receiving their inheritance. And we're going to uh, read a reference. Our reference is going to be Deuteronomy 32 and 8 right quick. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people 
according to the number of the children of Israel. Okay, so let's go back. Um, God set the bounds of the nation of Israel and gave the other nations what was left of the lands that were not inherited. In other words, according to the number of the sons of Israel, it's saying that God gave Israel their lands to be inherited first and later gave the lands that Israel did not inherit to the other nations. Amen. So you all go ahead and uh, be very prayerful as you read the rest of uh, Joshua 15. It is a challenge, but don't stop. Because our goal is to read the whole Bible. So because we read in ch uh, book by book in chronological order, we can't skip over the big words and we have to ask God to give us the strength to continue to read the areas of this Bible that's most difficult as well. Okay, Because we don't want to cheat. But like I said, don't just read it just to be reading it. Ask God to give you uh, the patience with it and a determination to go ahead and finish this chapter right here, 15, even though it is challenging. I will warn you, it is. May God add a blessing to everything. And hopefully your Wednesday will be blessed. Uh, hopefully the weather will be blessed. And... Um, stay encouraged and be safe as you're out there doing your last minute shopping because Christmas is knocking at the door. Amen. I love you all. I love you all. Just stay blessed and stay tuned to this channel. Uh, stay motivated. And remember, Jesus is the reason for the season.